going to show you how our social media planner works. We have different tabs for the different parts of the planner. Statistics, planner, hashtags, and settings. To keep it all nice and organized. Let's start with statistics. In this tab you can keep track of the best posts, or other posts you want to include in the stats. Just add the metrics, and the chart will automatically update for a nice overview. This is particularly great if you have clients, to show them the progress. This is the planner tab. Here's where you'll do all the planning. We'll get back to this tab in a bit. In the hashtags tab you can save all your hashtag groups, so you can easily add them to your posts. Everything you add here will automatically appear in the planner tab as a drop down menu, for easy access. In the settings tab you can customize the planner, either for yourself, or your different clients. Change the platforms, you most likely won't need all these options. Only keep the platforms you really post on. Here you can also change content pillars. If you don't use content pillars in your strategy, you can just skip them. As you see, any changes made in the settings will appear globally in the entire sheet. Add all locations you regularly tag for easy access. Of course you can also add custom locations in the planner. If you're working with clients or team members, it's great to have different approved labels. You can customize these and add more if you need. We've added times to post each half hour, this will work great for most accounts. But if you need, you can adjust the times displayed in the drop down, or add custom times in the planner as well. Let's get started with the planning. When working with clients, or our own account, we've learned it's usually best to plan two weeks ahead. In that way you're always prepared, and you are also ready to hop on any trends. If you plan too far ahead, your posts might not work with the current trends. Therefore, our planner is designed for two weeks, but if you want to plan longer periods, just duplicate the planner tab. Select the time to post. You can find the best time for each day in the Instagram app, under insights. Select your platforms. Add location. This automatically displays locations added in the settings. Write the caption. Choose hashtags from your hashtag groups, that you added in the hashtag tab before. Add the media, go to insert, image, image in cell. Drop your image, if you plan on posting a video, add a screenshot of the video, so you can preview the feed. Write what story you should be posting. As you can see, the feed automatically appears down here. Let's plan some more. You can add emojis too. To add emojis on Mac, press Ctrl, Command, Space, and the emoji keyboard will appear on your screen. To add emojis on Windows, Press the Windows key, the period key, and the emoji keyboard will appear. Now let's check the feed preview. This automatically appears under the planner, in the order the posts will be displayed on your Instagram. If you have clients or teammates, this would be the time to share the planner with them. Just press the green button, share, at the top right corner. Your clients and teammates can then add changes in the yellow area.
If they change the media, the changes will automatically appear below the planner as well. This way, you can easily see if the changes will look good in the feed. When everything is approved, we recommend scheduling the posts with Facebook Business Suite or Facebook Creator Studio, now called Meta Business Suite or Meta Creator Studio. They are great tools to auto-publish posts and are both free to use. Check the scheduled box to keep track of what's scheduled, or you can of course post manually. Just copy the planner tab to move on to the next period and plan two new weeks. Happy planning!